Welcome to Dumb on Fire. We are checking out Rodeo Pub in Nigambo. If you have not been here, you are missing out the whole vibe in Nigambo. It's one of the places to be. Uh, I think it's one of those places that you sort of make it as your mark place. Uh, it's like a few feet away from Rodeo, so it's one of those places. So, um, today on the show, I'm going to speak to someone who is uh, very much a part of the hospitality industry and I have other things that I have to ask him as well. I have Emal Gunasekhar. Hi there. Thank you for joining us on the show. Pleasure. So, uh, I see a lot of social media with you. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> let's, uh, uh, let's start with this. Okay, hospitality is a scary business to be in, especially in Sri Lanka. We had a 30 year war and then we got into a bomb and now we have COVID. How do you sort of make this a booming business once again? Well, uh, hospitality is actually a very sensitive uh, industry like to uh, do business because like it's a, it, it will be affected very easily. So like with the war or like if there's a COVID, whatever situation it is like, hospitality is like it's the first to get in. First to get in. So um, when it comes to booming of the industry, like we have to attract the best of the tourists, like, you know, like who's to try and travel into a, Maldives, Indonesia, all these uh, people we have to attract uh, to Sri Lanka and show the best what we have to offer to the tourists. And uh, we had to show to Sri Lankan hospitality and culture. Do you think we actually attract the good tourists or the Not right the tourists? Moment. Not at the moment. To be very honest with you, no. Do you think our tourism ever got it right? Well, it was, it was, I have to like be very honest with you, it was, but then again like uh, countries like Maldives, Thailand. Like we're Indonesia. far less than what we have. Yes. Seem to have done a better job. But we can. I think we couldn't <coughs> even decide on a tagline for Sri Lanka, no? for the longest time. We have very changed true. a few times. Yes. Pearl of the Indian Ocean, then we became like Freshness, pearl, yeah. something, something. So many things. Yeah. And they paid billions for that. Why can't they ask me a tagline? <laughs> Sri Lanka. Uh, I want to offer this to you first. You, this show is also about eating, gaining weight and doing the show. It's one of those things that I really wanted to do which has a combo of all. This is uh, it's something. Yeah. Uh, this is all thanks to Ane. So this is spring rolls now. I'm asking the ones from Rodeo itself. Spring rolls. Thanks. <laughs> uh, just wanted to clarify on that. Uh, yeah. um, now, you tell me. Yes. As a young entrepreneur, okay, you're from Royal. Uh, you feel I, don't know, I don't like the look of the face. <laughs> no, there's not. Okay. It's okay so. I was never like the person to champion for schools. I don't know okay. so many. Um, I don't know. Uh, are you proud to say that you are a royalist? Of course, oh, always. No. Always. Oh, oh, always. Oh, 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 look at the face. Oh. <laughs> look at the face. <laughs> Not everyone is doing right, you know. <laughs> well, you can't say like that is true, but you know it. Everyone is saying that is true. I agree. But now tell me, yeah. as someone who is young and who has to now take over the reins from your dad, and you know, the second phase of youth becoming a man mm -hmm. is a transition progress that is a bit of a scary one. Have you ever thought from your dad to you? Do you think it's like an issue over the fact of you have to think or have big shoes to fill? Not really, because like it's uh, sort of like guidance. Like he's always there. My father is always there. Like he's guiding me, like what to do. Is what he not strict? Not strict. Not strict. He's he have given me like an open court, like to play around, like to do uh, experience myself, like to uh, see how things work. So it's uh, actually like he's like a sort of a great teacher. Like uh, my father is like always guiding me, like what to do, what not to do. So I always can like run to him and like ask, like is it, is it okay if I do like this? So he have well experienced man. So, in that aspect, I'm really blessed to say like uh, I have that guidance because like which not everyone has. Um, so, um, it's not a big shoot like feeling, but uh, it's a big responsibility for sure uh, when it comes to hospitality uh, sector and how to. Has he ever rethought like he has open regency and so many hotels <laughs> across the country? Has he ever felt like you know this is not the country? Let's just pack up. Not really, not really. He always have that uh, mentality like we have to support this country because this is a country like we have born, like this is a country we have raised. So I am a person like who got the free education. Same like you, like so we got the free education and I am a person like this because of this country. So we have a debt to pay to this country. So I think because of the hospital, from the hospital sector, whatever me, so we have to pay that debt and like we have to uh, see what we can see what back. we can do. Yeah. All right. Now, there's a 
pressing question that I need to ask him. Uh, if you do see him on social, you'll gather this question. I'm going to ask that when we do come back. Do stick around. It's done on fire. Hi everyone. I'm here, here, here. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, Danu on fire today with Emma Grusegar. That? that was better. <laughs> better than you. <laughs> he has done every job here apart from going to the kitchen to cook this as well. He has done camera work, he has experienced it all. Uh, Emma, because you kind of come from a political family, your father was in politics okay. and your photograph suggests your photographs suggest okay. that you might enter politics do you, do have i got it right or wrong well i can't no, because i want to become friends with you now yeah. in future <laughs> if i need any uh, roads passed or something well that's that's a good question but uh, i can't comment on it right now because like uh, but is it a yes or a no or no comment no comment. That means you are getting into politics. That's what they always do. It's it's a known secret. But anyway, it's okay. Good. Because all your pictures That's are like a Baba Walla Nekai. Baba Walla Nekai. That was so hard. Hari Vela Vata Khan Nekai. That's not a good conclusion. <laughs> so I thought to myself, hmm, That's not a good this boy. But no, I'm just, I'm just, but good. Because I think we need young blood to come in. And if it's all coming from a good place, that's all it takes. So, True. which is a good thing. So I, I give you credit for that. And yeah. If if it is corrupted at that time, I'll call you. If there's a system, I will One call you. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, just want to let you know if yeah. you're talking about it so freely, but it's a sad situation in life. Anyway, we are at uh, Rodeo Pub uh, in Nigambo. Yes, we have come all this way. The beach is there, okay? It's not that we are hiding. Uh, just to let you know. We have got a seafood platter. Now, this is a massive platter. This is the uh, mother of all platters. It's huge. This is not a platter that people give. This is a platter to feed the nation. Uh, apart from that, we have also got... Oh, what is this? Patai. Patai. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I forget. Uh, here they have just dished everything out and it's just... Do you... Are you someone who can cook? Yeah, of course. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, good food? Not, 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 not definitely cool though. No, no, that's okay. But I'm just saying, can you cook for well? Yeah. You can? Mm. Because I, uh, I've studied in Australia, so when I was you there... You have to survive. It's actually a survival game, like, so I used to like go to like McDonald's and everything. It's, it's not like what I like, so mm. like I have to like try something my own. So I start like cooking things, uh, it's not about just the recipe, like I got it down from the Google or something like that. So I um, just taste myself, experience myself. So uh, going through like each and every ingredients, so I want to know like, so this spice is not enough, so put some more salt like that. So made it perfect like that. Okay. Now, as someone who has to run operations, so I'm going to give this. Here, I'll give you this. As someone who has to run operations, yeah. you now you have like staff reporting to you, you can't be as, you can't go as crazy as you'll want to go. Have you ever thought that like it's, it's like a restriction? Like, you know, how, how youngsters can be youngsters? 
But have you ever, I know you have been given the freedom, but have you ever wanted to like, you know, corrupt the system a little bit, be mischievous, outrageous, just like do things, party all night? Yeah. Not, 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 That's some, not something like that, but uh, system have to change. Like we are, we are all like being like stereotype, like the like Sri Lankan uh, culture is like being most of like stereotype. So we have to get out of that culture and like be more, we have to accommodate the 21st century and uh, we have to uh, accommodate some, I'm not asking like to be like uh, party all night, like uh, spend the, spend your, have, have, have fun, don't be like that, but like to uh, balance, it. balance it out, like be something like, not be a serious, like, so whenever like someone have fun, like that's the typical thing, like that's why it's not good. Yeah. Not that mindset, but something beyond from that and uh, balance it out. And that's the most important thing. Yeah. Because especially uh, today, do you feel that uh, like a lot of people went out there and wanted to become their own entrepreneurs, start their own brands, like because with all the facilities we have been given. That's actually because of the social media and uh, yeah. interaction with social media. And it's so easy for yeah. somebody to like start up a business because it's just Very much. one page and there you, yeah. you, you are your own entrepreneur. Uh, but it sort of really made people think, especially during this time, because you know, like, what are, what are we doing? Yeah. Um, what would you tell those who want to start up their own, like, follow their own dream or like, make it their own place? Be a persevere. If you have a dream, stick with it, no matter what comes, like, there will be like, uh, restrictions and there will be like, so many like, difficulties come when you start it. So, but if you stick with your plan, if you know where to go and no, no matter what, who say, if you know what to do, so be stick with the plan and just go to the end goal. When you reach there, they, everyone will like praise you. Everyone will be like, oh wow, you made it. You, you did like we were there, this and that. But no. So from the beginning, you stick for your own plan and be a persevere. Be a persevere. Go follow your goal. Follow your dreams. So basically a goal without a... How do you, like, like what do you do every day in the, morning, in the morning when you wake up? Are you like one of those planned, organized people? No, not oh, really. You're not? No, I'm not. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Oh. I'm not. Because like, but I know what to do. Okay. So I'm not like sticking with the time. Like two o'clock I have to do this, five o'clock I have to no. gym, uh, six o'clock I have to do this, 10 o'clock I have to sleep, nothing like that. So like, uh, what I'm thinking is like, I have to do these things for the day. For like, uh, I have to do gymming, whatever it is like, I have to do these, these, these things for the day. And so I like, I stick with it. So no matter what time it is, I'm going to do it. So that's yeah. all. Brilliant. We'll speak more, of course, when we do come back. Already, this segment is done. You can do the next segment opening as well. I will just let it you. Was good, no? Yeah, it was very good. I will. Why don't you start a show? Emal on fire. <laughs> you can start. Let's get into a break. We'll see you right after this. Welcome back to the show. Our final segment here at the Rodeo Pub in Nigambo. Uh, so happy to be here. I was just telling them I love sweets. And there you go. It's my favorite segment. He took the crepe. He took the bigger portion. Because you love ice cream. Yeah, true. But you know crepes are nice with ice cream. It's fine. I, I'm a giving person. I've got the brownie. All right. Just wanted to speak to you a little bit about, uh, you know, you do a lot of uh, work in like giving back. And you actually have been doing this for so long. I'm not... I, I'm just asking this question because I'm curious to know. Um, okay. Um, you know this, this quality of giving and understanding what others are also going through. How important it is to incorporate it when a child is growing up? It's actually very much important uh, because, like. I, even though my father was in the business background and the political background, I am a person who always like came up with free education. Uh, people have like uh, given me gifts and like so many things like they have given me to be become who I am today. Mm. So uh, I think that's a very crucial aspect when it comes to like giving and like uh, for a child and all. With, with, with regards to anything like can be like physical law or like from education or whatever it is like. So education also. Uh, it's a Part gift to give someone, gift to someone which uh, is very important and you you run a foundation and what was one of the purpose of opening it and what do you all do with it that's of course uh, because of i did my uh, bachelor's in australia so when i was doing my bachelor's there i had i made so much of contacts like international contacts so when i came back to sri lanka i told them like this, this is how country is there are so many uneducated uh, children here and how the country works this and that 
so my friends and my uh, relatives who's abroad like they were like do you start something up so they don't want like fun to you and mm. they don't want fun to any other these things they were like we know you so you start something on your own so they'll fund uh, so that you can do something charitable to the uh, this because thing. it's like a big problem over the fact that when people know that somebody is trying to do something good they always quite worried <coughs> about the fact that whether they whether it's actually going to the right source True. whether it's just going to be like you know somebody is just going to rob something or is there a hidden agenda yeah. like politics or something yeah and also the fact that whether people are just doing this because they are taking a percentage for themselves True. True. there are so many things like that so like uh, they were like you do something on your own so you start up something like very uh, but we can see like what we can we can like connect with you either can be like from giving the education or with the some like giving charities such, such as like uh, gifts so like uh, education books so whatever it is like to children so give the show the kindness mm. spread the kindness so which will uh, stay forever mm. so they will like do something so they'll help you out so from those contacts and also i should mention here like uh, there are huge fund coming from my businesses we are like uh, uh, every room you book there's a one dollar coming up for the charity right, so right. so whatever you spend like this one dollar coming up to the charity asset so it's a huge fund yeah. coming up at the moment like uh, with the contacts and from the businesses but it's always nice to see young people coming forward to give back because it's like a quality that we want to incorporate into people okay there's a nigamba fly that's really annoying me get out that's of the way <laughs> um, so i also <clears throat> want to ask you in midst of all of this um, like you have taken a path a journey in your career in your life where do you see yourself in the next few years like like what is your plan like have you ever thought about it yes i do all i do always like okay. i see myself like in 2025 2030 where do i stand so like when it comes to business aspect i won't like spread the hospitality sector when it comes to earls so we are coming up with a few projects in kurangala also in nigambo yeah. here and, and you travel across the country always no huh? Yeah. You're always like on the on the road. <laughs> yeah. So Candy, Colombo. That's your mom is from Candy. Mom is from Candy. And Pazikuda. dad is from Andhra. Pol 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 yeah. So that's like your mostly your work that you do is also based in Pol Pol Based in Candy. Okay. Candy. So we I send over my work in Candy and uh, go to Pass Good Hour Bay Road. We have hotel there. And when it comes to charity projects, I travel all around yeah. the country. Yeah. Finally, I want to ask you: Do you think youth, because you are in young? Do you think they have a place to grow in this country according to you? Yes, very much. This is a very potential country if like if you take uh, others like there's like less competition so you can like show your skills and like you can come up like very easily because with the social media interaction these days you can come up very easily. So but you have to come up with the right thing at the right time. So like uh, with the covid like new words came up uh, pandemic yeah. quarantine all these new words came yeah. up. So with that we flatten the curve was one of my favorite. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, we we've, uh, we've been at home. So there was a big room open like among the this like delivery services all these new things came up uh, recently. So it's a very high time like good time like all the youngsters to come up and pop up like and show their skills and their entrepreneurial skills. and uh, start up something they can. they can do so much of things amazing i'm so happy that i got a chance to sort of talk to you and feature you on the show and make you a part <laughs> of it um i know limit is about to grow and i wish you all the very best thank you dana super it was great having you we are going to say big thank you to the guys here at rodeo pub you guys have treated us so well and the place is just full of energy that brings nigamba out Of course it's so much more nice in the night so do come by check out what they have to offer let's keep our people alive and that's the most important thing i will see you again soon with another cool episode of down on fire till then you keep smiling it's right